The rail line is over there across busy and stupid Mass Ave. Arlington Wood. More weird yuppie housing. And the next segment of bikeway. Okay, what local hero have we here? The James Walter Mullally Crossing. He was a crossing tender and lost his life in a failed attempt to rescue Miss Emma Osgood from an oncoming train. He was awarded the Carnegie Medal for Heroism. Wow. And this thing will get us down to Alewife. <laughs> Skateboarding is what <laughs> young human males do as a counterpart to the complicated displays one finds among birds of paradise. They just don't have the plumage. It's surprising the worthless little devices are popular all this time. Jesus, they suck when I was nine years old and they haven't sucked any less since. But humans do love their mindless motion stunt stuff. I remember this. This is a lot crappier the last time I walked along it. At least the soaked yuppies who overpay to live here are getting their money's worth in amenities. There's another side trail. Looks like it's graded for bicycles. <laughs> another entitled constituency. This is a sort of quiet North Cambridge backwater. And the hum of housing. Yeesh. Wow, this heads ultimately towards Northampton if we want to think of it that way. And this heads more or less back to Boston. We actually have some sun. The little misting drizzle that was threatening things before, now it seems to have abated. It's a little quieter here. Just those terribly important bicyclists going to their terribly important destinations. Well, not being too terribly interested in much beyond getting there fast. Lots of little funny pull off things. Probably has half of Boston's winos around here if you needed to. Oh. 
more leashing issues. <laughs> yeah, pooch owners sure have made pests of themselves. Starling. I think I might have strolled along this thing. At one point in the past, it was just a lot shabbier. Somehow, the Commonwealth emerged from the slovenly shabbiness that characterized it for much of the 70s and 80s to becoming this highly tweaked, spiffy thing it seems to be now. There's another little bit of porosity launching into yet another neighborhood. This thing is a little less porous along here. Lots of channeling building walls. I think I sense a point where it turns down towards Rinjaf. Oh, yeah. This is looking kind of familiar. Oh, there's the old high rise. Come out by a park. There's a long stretch here. So yeah, this looks like the backside of old Dewey and Almy chemical works or something. And here's Russell Field, where I can even rejoin a bus station that will bring me together with the bus line I took out here. This fenced off stuff is all EPA Superfund sites that have been allowed to go back into woods, but people are strenuously discouraged from having much to do with them. Yes, no trespassing. athletic fields reminders to the bicyclists to yield to pedestrians assuming they read Station that way to Northampton. Yep, there's the old Jerry's Pit sign. There's the old Air Wife Station preliminary entrance point. 
And there's where we came from. The route of the Central Massachusetts Rail Line. Now, the Massachusetts Central Rail Trail. And this is just a short poke down to the Rinjav bus stop. My next principal destination. You can see the elaborate athletic fields that Cambridge thoughtfully provides for its inhabitants. And I often come out this way when I'm going to Bedford because you can catch a bus all the way to Bedford. Off of the transfer to Ringe, getting you out there for a dollar fifty. And lo and behold, the bus arriving as I approach the parking lot. <laughs> Don't get any better than this. Cool. 